Between 1970 and 1983, 80% of the leopard's habitat was destroyed due to logging, forest fires and agricultural land development. This in turn not only hurt the leopards but also affected their prey species, causing them to gravitate towards farms and be killed by farmers. Like most big cats, the Amar leopard is poached and illegally hunted for its beautiful spotted fur and traded on the black market, thus negatively impacting on the population's numbers. And since the majority of leopards' habitat has been destroyed, they reside in only small pockets of land that is left, therefore making it relatively easy for the poachers to find them. Furthermore, agricultural establishments and villages surround these habitats, thus making these animals easily accessible to poachers. As there are so few leopards left in the wild, the gene pool is very low. Thus, individuals that are left breed within their small communities, creating offspring with low genetic diversity, therefore making the population very susceptible to disease or environmental catastrophes that could potentially wipe out the remaining individuals in an already low population. Inbreeding has also been documented due to low community groups, which can lead to health problems, including infertility, therefore putting more stress on the population. The Amar Leopard and Tiger Alliance are working with the World Wildlife Fund, helping regional and federal organisations to protect not only the leopards, but other biological life in the leopards range. This is achieved through promoting conservation programs, sustainable development and implicating community programs. Through these efforts, four anti-poaching teams have been positioned throughout the leopards habitat, monitoring their population through snow track counts and camera trap counts. They are also working towards restoring the leopard's habitat and running media campaigns to help increase the awareness and critical nature of the Amar leopard. WWF have also implicated programs such as the 2003 Forest Conservation Program in the Russian Far East ecoregion complex to combat the human interaction and traffic in the Amar leopard's habitat hoping to increase the prey species population, therefore reducing a major stress on the species. The Russian government in 2012 declared a new area called Land of Leopards National Park, extending around 650,000 acres, including all the leopards breeding grounds and 60% of their remaining habitat. Shown on yellow on the map is the historic range of the tiger, and now in red are the current ranging areas. Their numbers have been on the rise as shown here, with the population numbers increasing towards the end of 2015. With the help of conservation areas like the Land of Leopard National Park, being all the coloured areas on the map and the red patches being the main range of the leopard, their numbers are slowly on the rise. This shows the number of leopards caught on camera traps over the past eight years. As seen in the final column, the numbers have been fluctuating. However, as a whole, have risen since the final count in 2011, showing hope for the survival of the species. Urbanisation is a big problem not only for the Amar leopard but is perhaps one of the leading issues putting pressure on numerous endangered species. Human activities such as housing, agricultural and industrial development has already resulted in around 75% of all animal extinctions since the 1600s. It is critical for environmental sustainability that the Amar leopards are protected because without these apex predators, biodiversity and complex food chains will crumble within the natural environment. Thus, it is critical that more effort is put into protecting these animals. 
Breeding programs between captive and non-captive leopards should also be implemented to combat the lack of numbers and increased genetic variation between isolated groups.